<laughs> we all know how the old saying goes, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And that's literally true about the great American road trip, as some of our most memorable moments are often made at the stops along the way. I think a road trip really helps immerse you kind of in the culture of the state you're traveling through, gives you more of a full feel of the state and what you're experiencing. Usually I have an itinerary of places I want to stop, but some of the most rewarding experiences are when you find something new, stumble upon something you didn't know existed. Traveling, you know, kind of the back roads of the South or United States, even the small towns, they have something to offer for road trips. You have little museums, the locally run museums. Almost everyone has like something remarkable in it, something amazing. Or There's just all sorts of strange things to see along the roadside. People creating art in their backyards. The whole thing is an adventure. Prior to the 1980s, road trips were the primary vacation choice for most Americans. Although road tripping didn't fall off the map completely, it's experiencing quite a resurgence lately. As a result, roadside stops like Stuckey's are also seeing an uptick in business. I'm seeing more people get back into the road trip vacations. I would attribute the uptick in business to people just really wanting to get out there and spend time with their families. Americans are just looking for a simpler way to travel. It's a little bit slower pace and really enjoy the scenery and seeing all these different places that America really has to offer instead of just getting to one destination to the next. Stuckey's is part of the nostalgia of reviving the Great American Road Trip because people are craving comfort. And part of that is reliving things that were really special about our childhood. So many of us, myself included, have great memories about hitting the road with our families, pulling over at fun places along the roadside, and Stuckey's was part of that. Everyone on a road trip needs road snacks. Stuckey's is a must stop. I think what a lot of people remember us for is our pecan log rolls, so we do have great snacks, but we also have a lot of the fun souvenirs that you remember as a child. So having some kitschy things to bring home. And then we've got the basics. We've got gas, we've got clean restrooms, we've got a hot snack. So it's a quick stop and it's a fun stop. Known for being the friendliest stop in the Southeast, Stuckey's has evolved greatly over its 80 plus year history. But one thing hasn't changed the Southern hospitality, instilled by founder W.S. Stuckey Sr. back in 1937. We started as a roadside stand in Eastman, Georgia in 1937. My grandfather founded the company with a $35 loan in a truck, drove around the countryside buying up pecans, and really took off when my grandmother started making candy. So at our core, we're pecans and we're candy. Those origins remain with the company today. My grandfather had this saying that I love, it was every traveler is a friend. And the road trip reminds us of that. We've been around 80 plus years, so there's a lot that needs to be done to revive and refresh the brand. But what's so special about Stuckey's is that we've got great origins and we have strong foundation. People remember Stuckey's, they remember our pecan log rolls, they remember road trips as a kid. So we're gonna build on those memories and make some more memories. I think the first experience with Stuckey's is just seeing billboards, like traveling through the South. You start seeing multiple billboards every couple miles. It kind of builds that anticipation of, okay, this is, this is somewhere I want to stop. I love the nostalgia feel. I you know, love, of course, the snacks. They have the classic pecan rolls. Um, and you know, that's pure road trip food. On the road, you may not necessarily stop in a town, but you'd have something like a Stuckey's or a roadside attraction that would draw you in, and then you, you've seen, you've experienced a town that you never otherwise would have stopped at. We get so many people that come in and tell us the stories of traveling with their parents or grandparents, and Stuckey's really being the destination stop for them. You know, they wanted the toys, the parents wanted the candy, and uh, just the whole experience. The people that have never been into Stuckey's, it's fun to watch their jaws drop when they walk in the door and see all the different knickknacks and goodies that we have to offer. And whether it's going to be an alligator head or if it's going to be a different produce from a local market. I think it's uniqueness that Stuckey has to offer that gets people to stop and pull in and see us. It's the novelties that we have, the different produce that we offer, the different candies that you haven't seen since you were a little kid. My mission for Stuckey's is about reviving the Great American Road Trip. We were at our peak when people were getting on the road in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, and early 80s. And just like this country, 
Stuckey's has definitely had our ups and downs. We fell out of family hands for decades. We were owned by a Chicago railroad conglomerate. We lost hundreds of stores. And we really declined when the road trip declined. We're back on a rebound and we're improving the look of our stores. We've got some great new branding and displays that's fresher. It's got a vintage look, but it's also got a cool new vibe to it as well. We're making a comeback and so's a road trip. That's my mission is revive what's special about America and bring Stuckey's back at the same time. If you're hitting the open road, chances are you'll need to stop. And there's no better place to fuel up, grab a snack, and get a taste of that sweet Southern charm than Stuckey's. To plan your pit stops along the way, visit Stuckey's.com or call 800-423-6171 today.